So let's take a look at two examples of truth tables using two statements. So I started both of them out the same. So P and Q are standing for my statements. So P, I go true, true, false, false, and then Q, I alternate, true, false, true, false. If you've ever done a tree diagram or written out the possible combinations of heads and tails, it looks very similar. So I've taken care of all the different possibilities when you have the systematic way of writing it. So now let's go ahead and look at the other pieces I need. I need to compare one of the things with, I need to compare P with a not Q. So first I have to figure out what not Q is. So I need a column for that. So not Q just takes whatever truth value Q, Q currently has, that stuff to say, and changes it. So if it's true, then it becomes false. If it's false, it becomes true. So the alternating pattern just flops. And now that's it. I'm ready to combine these guys here with the P or not Q. So when I write this final answer, and by the way, this column is the answer. So that's your answer column. I'm looking at the P column and the not Q column. And it's or, right? The V is or. If either one is true, then my answer is true. So if, right, P is true in this case, so it doesn't really matter what not Q is because I get my true from the first because it's or. Okay. I, next row, I have true or true. Oh, that's obviously true. False or false. Okay, neither of those is true, so my answer is false. And then that last one, false or true. I have one true, so that works with or, so I'm done. Okay, let's look at that next example. Again, just P's and Q's, so I wrote it out the same way. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. And now let's see what I could do. There are a couple ways you could go about this one. You could use De Morgan's Law and carry the uh, not through. Remember when the not goes through, that changes to a not P and not Q. Uh, but I think this might be the easiest way to do it here. So the first thing I'll get is P or Q. So let's go ahead and write that column. Remember, if either one is true, then P or Q is true. So I'll go true, 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 false, and then the last thing, I have the not. So I'll just go through that column I wrote and change all the trues to falses and all the falses to trues. So false, 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 true. And again, that last column is the answer. In case you're wondering, absolutely. If you did a truth table using that not P and not Q, you have to get the exact same answer. Verify that for yourself, though.